guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look. It's kind of a bright eyed pop look. It uses bronzes and browns and a little bit of black just to bring out some certain areas. I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun filming it. It's more of a get ready chit chat video. Um, hopefully you'll have all the products that I use at home. So I tried to um, use multiple purpose products. So just kind of one bronzer and then some uh, setting powder and moisturizer blush and everything. Um, so I hope you enjoy this look. Give me a thumbs up if you love super quick and simple eye makeup looks and I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you enjoy the video that's about to come. Bye! So I'm starting out with a clear base. All I have is moisturizer on so I'm using my Cetaphil Ultra Advanced Hydrating Cetaphil um, cream. So that's what I like to do on a daily basis. So I just wash my face and then I start with moisturizer so I have a clean slate. Um, and then next I'm going to be using L'Oreal Dermagen... Gem Ugh. Getting tongue-tied. Dermagenesis Pore Minimizing Soother. So I use this just, not a lot, just a little bit of the... If I can open it. Here we go. I use just a little bit, maybe this much, and I just apply it to the sides of my nose. This just makes sure that um, all my pores are closed because I find that sometimes I do have enlarged pores around my nose area and then it does show when I put makeup on. So I'm just applying a little bit of this just to let that sink in and then my makeup will be a little bit more flawless. So um, to begin... I'm going to be using my Garnier Roll-On Anti-Eye Dark Eye Circles. So I'm just applying this. I'm just applying this to the dark areas of my eyes. That was a lot of product that came out actually. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to just so I'm just going to blend this out with my SS190 Sigma brush. And I'm going in between padding movements just to kind of put this colour in and allow it to set a little bit because I find that if I just start blending it, I just lose all the product and all the coverage. So I'm just padding it in to allow it to set in and then I'll blend out the edges. I also just want to bring this into kind of a triangle underneath my eye just to give me a little bit of highlighting as well in these areas. And because this roll-on is a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, I'm just going to put a little bit underneath as a highlight colour. So I'm not going to be doing a big eyeshadow look today, it's going to be a very simple look. And a bit above, just for a bit of a secret eye lift, as I read. Um, and then just blending this out just a little bit more. And I'm just going to put this around all the remainder of the product on my brush. Just on any imperfections. So now with foundation, I'm going to be using my blender with Rimmel's Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow. It has an SPF, 50, an SPF of 15 and it is quite hot so I'm going to be using this one and I have it in the colour 200 Soft Beige. So I just pop a little bit onto the blender and then I go with either circular movements or just downward motions. As I mentioned in my full coverage foundation, um, I don't normally put too much emphasis on going just downwards just to make sure that the hairs on my face go down with the foundation because I mean, usually I'm in a big rush but um, I still do like to just go with downward motions however it's not as important because I'm not really... I'm after a flawless look but just a quick and simple <laughs> flawless look. So I either go with circular motions just to kind of blend it as I'm spreading it over my face or I just go with downward padding motions. Um, also make sure to take it down the neck just to blend it all out. I'm also just concentrating around my fine lines around my mouth. I find that makeup gets caught there as well as in my under eye area. And I think that's fine for foundation. So the next thing which I am doing is um, I'll do a little bit of bronzer, I reckon. So I'm going to go with two bronzers today. I'm going to be using Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Professional Powder. This used to be so popular kind of a couple years back, if I remember. My friend purchased, I think, the two-for-one deal, so she bought a second one. She gave it to me. I do like it. I don't think... I remember on the ads they used to say it was an overall foundation lip 
blush, bronzer, everything product. Um, I think it's a good bronzer. I wouldn't use it as a foundation or anything. It has a nice kind of brown. It's not, it's just, it's not too shimmery. It's more of a matte brown. So that's what I quite like about it. And it does reflect light particles, but um, it's definitely not an overall foundation or anything. I just use it as a bronzer. I'm using, also using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Warm Blend. So first I'm going with the Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Professional Powder and my SS168 brush. I'm just going to get some colour onto the brush and then I am just following my cheek line, cheekbone. I am so lost for words today. <laughs> I think I've been doing too much study and too much uni. Too much work as well. So I'm just going to follow this line here. I think it's the cheek, cheek line, cheek shadow line. So many names that you can call it though, so well, one of those. And also on this side. I'm also making sure that I'm blending blending up into the hairline. I just want it to be a very um, subtle sun-kissed look. Not too much, so I think that will be enough. I'm also going to grab a little bit more product around the nose, on the bottom. I'm also just going to go a little bit around the edges of my forehead and then on my jawline. I think that's enough. And then now I'm going to re-emphasize that bronzer with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Warm Blend. And I'm just going over this cheekbone line. Concentrating the colour more on the, I guess you have half of your cheekbone, upper half. Okay, so that's all done. Um, next I'm going to be using, so I think I will put a little bit of concealer on because I'm going out later on tonight, so I do want some more coverage than just what that um, Garnier roll-on will give me. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a concealer brush. I'm just going to use my fingers. I'll just use, oh no, I do here. Here we go. So I'm using Face of Australia Concealer in... Eight seven zero. I'm not sure. It's probably just one of the lightest ones. I'm just gonna apply a little bit, and I'm just going to blend this out by using short strokes. Just like that. I also like to sometimes go over with either a blender or a full foundation brush, just to get that into the lines and to make it blended a little bit more with that nice brown kind of full coverage foundation which I used just beforehand. Um, so then on to blush I will be using, let's see what I brought with me. Um, here we go, I'm going to be using this one. This, actually no, I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Number no. 9 Blush. Here we go. Just dipping a little bit into my Tapered Face F25 brush. And I'm just applying this just above that contour line. And I'm applying a little bit of colour just onto the apples of my cheek. I know that they say don't apply um, blush to the apples of your cheek. But I quite like that look. I don't know. Like, I don't, obviously I don't do a lot. But just like a subtle hint. I reckon... That should be enough. Okay, um, and then actually I might go over this with my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer duo. And just with the nice kind of, I've heard that this is a dupe for NARS. <coughs> losing my voice for NARS Orgasm. And it's just got some nice kind of um, speckles to it. Some reflecting. Looks quite nice. Okay, so for lips I'm going to be using Lip Shine Equip. It's just a really nice pale pink lip gloss. It's a bit light, so I might go over with, oh no, here we go, 
I'm just, okay, so that colour was a little bit light, so I'm going over with Superstay 10 Hour Tint Gloss in 180 Lasting Pink. So for my eyebrows, I'm using Essence 04 Blonde Pencil. So I did just have my eyebrows tinted, so they are quite dark. So I don't really need to put in too much. I'm just going to focus it because I do have a little bit of space here. And then it also thins out a bit too much on the outside. So I'm just going to touch up these areas with short strokes. When I just push the pencil in... And then towards the ends as well, so it's not a lot. I then just like to brush them out and just to make sure that all the spots are filled. I think a little bit more And this area. I'll probably go quiet soon. I always find that I concentrate way too much on my eyebrows. Um. So again, just filling them in. Oops, I went a bit out. So I reckon, I reckon that's fine. So that's the eyebrows done. Um, so now I guess onto the last thing, which is eyes. I always leave this to last. I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cottage Cheese. I do have to sharpen it. Um, I'm just going to apply this into the water duct area. And I'm also going to bring it to about, actually all over the eyelid but just very minimally towards the second half, but more towards the water duct, just to get that nice, vibrant, bright look. Can you imagine if I said that this was a finished look? <gasps> oh, shame. Um, Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Professional Bronzer, the same bronzer, I reckon I'm just going to put this into the crease line I also think it's going to be called the shadow line and then I'm taking it over the eyelid to about two thirds over the eyelid excluding the water duct area and once all the product has gone off the brush I'm now just going to use this just to tidy up that water duct area and to pat in that cottage cheese pencil but as you can see it's a lot more diminished towards this end and it's a lot brighter I'm going to do this side as well I'm also going to go in with e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder just because this brown is a little bit darker than the Thin Lizzy and I do want to just darken up my crease line just a bit more, not too much. So I'm going with um, Windshield Wiper Motions and also Padding Motions just to Pack this colour on into those areas. So now I'm using that same darker bronzer brown colour, whatever you have at home. And I'm just going to line the bottom outer third of the lash line. And going in with my translucent powder from Maybelline. going to 
and apply this all over the face. And then I'm also going to be using this as my highlight and my top colour. So I'm just applying this underneath the eyebrow. And I just want to make sure that it's blended between the crease line and above. So just by going with downward strokes, I'm going to make sure that this is all blended and it transitions really easily. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to line my eyes. Did I bring... I used white on my um, bottom lash line and I'm going to use black on my top if I can find a black. Yes, I do. Here we go. Okay, so white on the bottom lash line. I really hate doing this. like that. I'm now using, sorry, I was probably squinting. That probably looked really weird. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Bobbi Brown Charcoal Eyeliner Pencil. And I just want to line the outer third of my upper lash line. So I'm not lining it all in because I don't want, this makeup look is quite a bright and kind of eye popping because of all the like bronzers and the whites that I don't want to then go and close my eye in with a full line, upper lash line off. Um, black eyeliner so I'm just going to line the outer third and this is just going to give the effect of fuller and kind of it will be more black along the lash lines to make my eyes look a little bit bigger brighter and then my lashes to also appear a little bit um, longer and a little bit fuller around this area so I'm just running the pencil along the lash line just like that it's okay if you go a little bit over, I'm just going to lightly pat that away and then we'll go over with some eyeshadow again. And then I also just want to line the outer third of my bottom lash line. Okay, so going in with bronzer, I'm just fixing up that line, covering that black shadow line. So I might go in with a flat shadow brush. This will just make it easier to pack that colour on top. Again, with my cottage cheese, I just want to brighten up that water duct in our corner of the eye area. And I'm just going to use my ring finger just to lightly blend that out. Okay, now time for mascara. I'm going to brush out my eyelashes with this brush. It's just a mascara wand with no mascara. It's from Anne Co. And I'm just taking it to the base and then twirling the brush up. This just makes sure that each individual lash is separated and then it's ready to take on the mascara. This is just going to give you kind of fuller lashes because when you put the mascara on, the mascara will coat every single separate lash and it won't just miss them just because or clump them together. That's what it would normally happen. And now mascara, I'm using my Maybelline 1x1 mascara.
starting at the base and then I'm just wiggling the brush up. You have to be really careful with this mascara. I find that it's a very wet formula and it just goes everywhere when you try applying it. So I'm attempting to be very careful. You also want to make sure that you're creating all the baby lashes in your inner eye. So I know this is a bit hard, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe off the mascara that's just at the tip of the wand and I'm just going to go in with the edge just like that and I also want to coat the bottom out a third not out of half maybe yeah. just like that I'm going to do the other eye Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it was helpful. I quite like how it turned out. I think it's a very kind of super simple and easy but bright eyed kind of bronzy summery neutral tutorial. Um, yeah, I actually like it a lot. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know what type of videos or what tutorials you would like to see. Hopefully I can do a couple more. And thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you guys in the comments below and also in my next video. And yeah, bye. Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick outfit of the day to show you my outfit. So the hair is just in a kind of side pony fishtail braid. The makeup is the makeup look which I just posted. I'm wearing my gold guest watch, my Tiffany & Co. bow ring. Um, this was from Colette Heyman. The top is just a strap top and I have these elastic cuffed um, denim pants with my pink and brown sandals and that's my whole look so I'll do a couple turnarounds for you just so you can get the idea hopefully you enjoyed this quick outfit of the day and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye. And that's my whole outfit. Peace.